Okay, so what we'll do now is make it so that when you press these buttons here, it will open up the language select screen. Now, just before we do that though, let's just add a bit of color to this bottom section here. This will be where the history can, uh, is contained, so your translation history uh, is a real quick thing, so I figured we'd do it before we move on. So we have this view with the result container. We're gonna create a view underneath that one. Um, view, and this will have the style, uh, styles dot uh, history container. Now we're not going to put anything in there yet because uh, we don't have any data, but when we do, we'll come back and add the items there. Um, so this should be pretty straightforward to style. Let me just collapse those uh, and I'll paste this here. So we're going to need a background color um, and this is going to be uh, colors dot, do we have a gray color? We've got light gray. I think that's too light. We'll, we'll see how that looks and we'll come back and change it. I think it's the that color up there. So. Um, Let's just put flex one so that it takes up the whole height and now we should see a color. And we do, that's not too bad. Um, and let me also just put a padding of 10 so that when we do come to add items, they're not pushed up right against the side here. Um, I think we're gonna go a little bit darker on the color though. So what I'll do is open, open up the colors uh, file right here. And I've got a gray color written down here. So let's just say gray uh, background. Oops, it's going to be F2, F2, F7, all right, oops, F2, F2, F7, give that a save and let's go and use that color, so instead of light gray, we'll have gray background and this should go a little bit lighter now if I save it, cool, all right, uh, these are the exact colors that Google use, so uh, I figured we'll just use those too. All right, cool, so we've done that. Um, we'll come back and style the items, obviously, when we have them, but uh, for now, we're done on the styling of this. So let's uh, go to the language container element, and in there, we have these two touchable opacity elements, and these are those menu buttons, which when you click them, it opens up, uh, well, it will open up the language selection, and the moment it just logs pressed, so um, let's take care of that. So in order to actually open up the language page, we need to create a page. So let's go back to our file explorer, and in the screens folder, I'll create a new file, and this will just be language select screen.js obviously name this whatever you like and what I'll do just so we can see something I'm gonna just take the settings screen copy that uh, and paste it there it gives us a nice little empty page with a little bit of text so I'm gonna change settings screen to um, language select screen and I'll check also changes language select screen like I've said before this is just so we can see that the page has changed Okay, cool, so we've got the, our screen now. We need to open this up when we press the button. So how do we do that? Well, in order to open a page up as part of the navigation system, we need to add it to the navigation system. So back in app.js, um, we're gonna need to scroll down to our navigation, our stack navigator right here, the stack.navigator, and we have this stack.group. What we're gonna do is create another group underneath that. So I'll copy that, and I'll paste an, uh, another one underneath there. So this is gonna open up as a modal, so we want it to be separate from this group. If you wanna open any pages up that are part of this same screen, like if I press the button now and it slides to another screen, that would be part of the same group. But because this modal is not gonna be tied to any, uh, any of these pages, um, we're gonna store it in a separate group so that it opens up over the top of this stack navigator. So in there, we'll have our screen, um, this section right here, we'll have our uh, screen and we'll change the name to language select. And of course, the page is gonna be, or the component is gonna be language select screen. Uh, doesn't look like this is imported for me. Give me the also suggest, so I'll go and add it manually. I can just duplicate one of these lines here uh, and change this to uh, language select screen. And I'm gonna import that from uh, language select screen like this. Oops, wrong screen. Language select screen. Cool, so I've imported my screen and I'll scroll down now and that should be good, great. So we won't set a title here, so I can get rid of these options entirely because we'll set the title when we open it. I'll get rid of that. But we do need to set some screen options on the group itself. So this should be the modal group. So what I'm gonna do is just create some space. And in there, I'll just type screen options. And I'll set that to an object. And I'll say presentation, oops, presentation is going to be contained modal. So all of the documentation for this can be found on the React uh, Navigation website, but let me just open that up for you. So I'm on the native Stack Navigator page, and if I just search for contained modal, you'll see that uh, here we have a little explanation about what this is. 
You don't really need to worry about this too much, just, just know that it's a modal. So you'll see how this works in a second. Let me give that a save, and we'll go back to um, homescreen.js, and let's make it open this when we click the button now. So in there, instead of console.log pressed, what I'm going to do is use the navigation property, which comes from the props element. So props are passed in into this home screen. Uh, and like I said, when you've got a screen as part of React Navigation, um, there'll be a navigation property in there that you can use. So I'm going to use um, props.navigation, navigation, uh, nav props navigation dot navigate, and then you just uh, say the screen. And for me, it was language select. And that should be good now. If I press this button, uh, if I press this, see it opens up this. Um, so there is a back button up there, but it's opening. Why is it opening like this? It's not opening as a modal. It's opening as opening as a stack page. Why, we, why is it doing that? Let me go to app.js and take a look. All right, I just paused the video to have a little look around, uh, and I can see from the definition of this, if I go into the uh, property from this um, React Navigation uh, package, I can see that there's no contained modal value that I can use for presentation. Now, that, I thought that was strange, but I noticed I was using the React Navigation stack library instead of the React, uh, React Navigation native stack. If I go back to the stack navigator documentation, you'll see we've got, it mentions um, the React Navigation native stack offers native performance, and exposes native features, um, but it's not as customizable as React Navigation Stack. So what I think we need to do is just swap that over. Um, it's not a massive deal, modal works just fine, but um, what I'll do is I will uninstall React Navigation Stack and instead install React Navigation Native Stack. So what I'll do is go back to here, I'll show you how to do it. If we go to a package.json, it's real simple. All we're gonna do is remove that line. So the re remove the React Navigation Stack line, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, install the different library. So I'm gonna stop my server with Control C, and I'll just install the right one. So I'll copy this name, or you can type it out directly from me on, on this video. I'll say npm install, and then paste that in there. Everything we've done so far will still work. It should work exactly the same. Um, it's just some small differences that give you some native functionality. So I think what we're doing now will only make a difference on the iPhone anyway, so it's not a huge deal. But I've installed that now. Um, of course, we need to go back to app.js, and at the top, we'll have a reference to the uh, navigation stack. We should change this to um, native stack, but I think it might be another, it might be a different um, function for that. So let me just take a quick check. Uh, where are we creating this stack navigator? What I'll do, can I just type something else? Create stack navigator. So what we want is create native stack navigator right here. So if we click this, it should import from that file. So if I scroll up, it's added the import here. This is the one we want. Uh, and instead I can get rid of this one. Okay, so sorry for the confusion, but uh, yeah, essentially I installed the wrong package. I installed React Navigation stack instead of React Navigation native stack. It all works the same. They're just some small differences that we want to use here. Um, in fact, this is the only place that we want to use the differences. So everything else should behave exactly the same. So if I start this up, we should be good to go now. Um, I'll start that. All right, I'm also gonna close down my app so I can restart it. So I double tap the home button up there and I'm gonna go back to my terminal and press I. And now we should be able to use the uh, native, uh, create, sorry, the contained modal. My head's all over the place. We should be able to use a contained modal if we want to, but let's just check that still works. I press that, it should appear as a modal. All the same, so you can see it works exactly the same as it did before although we don't have a back button now, so there's no way to actually get off this at the moment, but that's okay. But if I now write contained modal and save that, and I'm gonna to go to my console and press R to refresh it because there's no back button, so I can't close that modal. So I pressed it now, and this is the contained modal. It opens up there. It's a, a very subtle difference. Um, you may have noticed it, or you may not be able to tell, but this modal presentation style more closely matches the one on the iPhone apps. So uh, I figured we'd use it. Okay, cool, so that took a bit of work, but we got there in the end. Um, so how about we add a way to close this real quick so that we can actually get away from this modal? 